In this session, we're going to talk about the idea of buffer capacity. Which of these best represents the idea of buffer capacity? The best answer here is how much acid or base can be added without a significant change in pH. The idea here is that even though buffers resist change in pH, they can't keep resisting change in pH if too much strong base or strong acid are added. So if we keep adding OH- or H2O+, eventually the buffer gets overwhelmed and uh, no longer keeps the pH the same. So here the buffer capacity pertains how much acid or base can be added to the buffer solution before the pH of the solution changes significantly. We might need to know the capacity of a buffer that we're using because we may want to maintain the pH of a particular solution over a range of added acid or base. In other words, we need to know how much OH- or H3O+, the buffer is going to need to resist. Uh, some idea of the buffer capacity is given by the concentration of the buffer components. So for example, 0.1 molar acetate buffer or 0.2 molar phosphoric acid, 0.15 molar hydrogen phosphate buffer. So um, the, the concentration on the buffer, if it's larger, then there are more weak acid conjugate base molecules to be able to absorb the extra H3O plus or OH minus. A buffer that has a lower concentration won't be able to resist the pH change as effectively. We haven't really talked about titrations yet, but we can see the effect of buffer capacity in a titration curve. Here we have the uh, pH on the y-axis and the volume of NaOH added to a weak acid on the x-axis. So what we're looking at here is if we start at zero, added, zero milliliters of added NaOH, um, we see that the the pH starts to go up, but then it kind of flattens out a little bit where we keep adding more NaOH and no additional, or, and, and the pH doesn't really increase very much. So we'll talk about this later, but we call this the buffering region of a titration curve, and it represents when there's relatively similar amounts of the weak acid and the conjugate base form because the weak acid has been partially neutralized. We see that the green dot is the pH where the pH equals the pKa. So at that point, we're going to have equal amounts of the weak acid form and the weak base form. And that is where the solution has the maximum resistance to pH change. However, if we keep going, keep adding more NaOH, eventually we get to a place where adding even a little bit more NaOH makes the pH change quite a bit. And so that's the point where our buffer capacity has been exceeded and um, in the solution no longer resists the change in the pH. Okay, so over this series of videos, we've talked about how to use equilibrium to explain how a buffer works, how to calculate the pH of a buffer using the henderson hasselbalch equation, how to calculate the change in the buffer pH when a small amount of strong acid or base is added, and we've talked about this idea of buffer capacity.